There is nothing us YouTubers won't do for views, so I've decided to go full on crazy. There is no boundary us YouTubers will not cross. Nah, but <laughs> g'day, g'day, you bloody legends. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Draw Their Life. And the shout out winners for the previous episode are... Thanks guys for subscribing, you guys are awesome. If you wanna win a shout out, subscribe to my channel guys and comment that you subscribed and I'll announce the winners in the next episode. And today, finally, we're drawing the awesome life of Laserbeam. I know you guys are requesting this Draw My Life video for a while, so here you go. If you don't know who Laserbeam is, let me explain. He's an Australian gaming YouTuber with 5 million subscribers. He's been around for a while, but 2018 turned out to be his biggest year for Laserbeam. He's gaining subscribers in an exponential rate. Just in the last two months, he's gained 3 million subscribers. 3 million subscribers in just two months is so crazy. After the release of Fortnite Battle Royale, every gaming YouTuber gained tons of new subscribers, and it became possible because of the huge popularity of Fortnite. He started his YouTube channel four years back, and throughout the years, he's made many different types of videos and experimented many stuff, but it looks like he's finally getting the attention that he deserves. Comment below, whose Draw My Life video do you want to see next? And let's go right into the video and check out the awesome life of Laserbeam. Laserbeam's real name is Lannan Ecott. He was born in Central Coast, Australia on December 14, 1994. He's currently 23 years old. Laserbeam also has two brothers and one sister. He's featured his sister in numerous videos. His sister's name is Tanner, and she also has a YouTube channel with 88,000 subscribers. G'day, g'day. Welcome to the channel that's only relevant because whoa, I shouted her out. Whoa, whoa. This is my channel. I'm going to do the intro. You can't g'day, g'day. Listen, listen, I'm listen. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Howdy doody. Co comment How below. Is... Laserbeam has also featured his older brother in a few videos. Here's a clip. I want those views. I want those subs. So that's right. I don't actually have the chili. Um, we're going to get that later, but you guys... You wanted my brother back in a video. It's been like seven months, so... It's been it's, a while. It's been a while. It's kind of the return. About his schooling, Laserbeam is a high school dropout. He didn't go to any college and university. After dropping out from high school, he was helping his family in their construction business. Even though Laserbeam is a high school dropout, he highly suggests kids to stay in school. Laserbeam worked with his family business for a while, but he was never satisfied with the work. He was passionate about making videos. Many people don't know this, but the first channel Laserbeam opened was not a gaming channel. It was a demolition channel where he was basically breaking things and recording it in slow motion. It's fantastic that it's so windy today. G'day friends. As you can probably tell, I have six cans of shaving cream. But that channel came to an unfortunate end when his whole camera setup and gear were stolen and they were quite expensive, so he couldn't buy new ones. After his first channel was over, he thought of different video ideas, and at that time, gaming channels like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye were getting quite popular, so he decided to start a gaming channel, and he named it Laserbeam with a Z. He opened his YouTube channel January 4th, 2015, and after one month on February 15th, 2015, he uploaded his first ever video on the Laserbeam channel. It was a video of him playing Madden. So I thought I'd set myself a little challenge. Get Vince Wilfork a 99 yard touchdown reception. Now I'm pretty sure this is literally impossible. After that video, he uploaded different Madden videos and GTA 5 mods video for a while. During the initial period, Laserbeam was only playing sports games, but later he experimented on different videos. Some of his audience were not happy with the changes, but eventually people watched whatever content he put up. Laserbeam got popular because of his witty and uncensored commentary. Recently, after the whole YouTube apocalypse, you're seeing gamers with full PG version. No swearing and nothing. But before, everyone was going full Super Saiyan mode. Ninja's a prime example. He completely changed his style and became PG to gain more audience and to make his content advertiser friendly. And it makes sense. Besides Laserbeam's sport gaming videos, he started doing reaction videos, and people liked it because he's funny. And those videos were quite entertaining. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay, the secret formula is You can say PewDiePie started the whole commentary thing. 
he completely did a tradition from gaming channel to commentary channel and it worked for him another example is SS sniper wolf laser beam hit his first 50,000 subscribers after five months of starting his channel and after one month he hit a hundred thousand subscribers so you can tell that his channel was growing fast laser beam hit 1 million subscriber mark after two years of opening his YouTube channel it took him quite a lot of time after Fortnite Battle Royale was released laser beam started doing funny gameplay videos of Fortnite that guy terrified me Whew. I pooed it's a goddamn horror movie up in here huh but he was still doing other commentary videos he's doing Fortnite gameplay from the last seven months but I don't know what happened the last two months were just crazy I don't know where he gained 3 million new subscribers in July he got 1.56 million subscribers and in August 1.46 million subscribers and that's not the whole story he also got around 600 million views that's just crazy laser beam mentioned in one of his videos that his channel was ranked one for the highest number of views 600 million views are a lot if we compare that number ninja got around 300 million views in the same period of time so you can see how big that number is laser beam said on his 2017 new year video that 2018 is going to be the biggest year for him 2018 is going to be the year of laser beam and the bloody legends and as far as I can see it's turning out to be the same he's been making videos for a while but you can say that this is the year when he's been getting true recognition and from here we have to see how he's going to maintain his growth how September is going to turn around for him we have to wait for that but if you look at his whole story from where he started and after the major setback of his first channel he still kept his faith on passion and that's the reason he's getting all the fame that you're seeing Build the body lock button you're all about your bloody legends I'll see all you fellas later and as always okay. cheers out. so there guys that was the draw my life video of laser beam if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys also go and check out ninjas and myths draw my life video on the playlist and I'll see you in the next episode until then peace out